as discussed in previous videos, I usually plant marigolds in between my vegetables so as to control pests and to give the garden a nice look. It's that time of the year again where they start drying up. As you can see this one, this one is drying up and I need to harvest them so that I can share seeds with friends and uh, have more seeds for replanting. So I'm going to take you through the harvesting process, how I do it and how I store them, and how I dry them further and separate the, the petals, the small petals that are still still hanging on the flower and uh, get the seeds out. As you can see these are the flower petals, the part of the flower and the seeds have been left here. I lift them up like this and these are the marigold seeds. Let's, uh, let's look at my harvesting process. Thank you. This is a completely dry marigold plant. As I've shown you in the other video, you can see it's completely dry. And when they dry up, the, at the last stage, they usually bend themselves like this one, uh, getting ready to, to drop the seeds back to the ground so that the next plants can grow. But if I let them drop the seeds, I'll have so many plants that I'll not be able to control. So I usually use uh, my pruning shears. Just cut at the stem, like that. Okay, that was a... Uh, it was not a right cut. Let's see. Usually use both hands, but one is on the camera. So I cut them like that. Then I store them uh, in a bag like this. This is a bag with, with the other seeds or the other flowers. just get some out so they're all here so in this bag I I do hang it in the sun for a while so that they dry further before I get to the process of uh, removing the seeds again this is just a flower and these are petals if I lift them up I'll, uh, I'll get the petals. This one came out with the seeds. And the seeds, the seeds are this black and white uh, pointed uh, stuff. This is what you plant. So each of these seeds uh, gets you one, one, uh, one plant. You can see one flower seems to have very many seeds, around 30. So you can imagine how many plants you'll get just from one flower of marigold. The beauty of nature, the magic of nature, it always multiplies and multiplies and multiplies.